I'm here at Creator Council campaign and I'm joined by Rob Dale. Rob, what do you do and why are you here? I work for the Local Government Information Unit, which is a think tank, a uh, membership organisation for local government. Uh, my role there is all about online engagement, so it's about how can you use the internet and digital technology to firstly save money, which is also obviously very important at the current minute, uh, design better services, and ultimately try and nurture a better relationship between citizen and council. So why I'm here is partly with that hat on, but also from a general sort of youth point of view. Um, obviously, I came out of university last year. A lot of my friends don't have jobs. You know, we found out last week that there's now a million unemployed people in the country. Um, so I'm really interested to see what new, slightly more dynamic, more vibrant forms of civic action can be nurtured, built, designed to actually get people feeling a sense of place over where they live um, and generally yeah, try and get more young people involved in the delivery of public services or active in local politics. Do you think that social media, Facebook, Twitter, is, is sort of the prime medium for this participation of young people? I think it's the main medium for these people mobilising together. Uh, we did a piece of research recently which found only 1% of the population, less than 1% of the population, wants to actually engage with their council on Twitter or Facebook. So I think there's, a, there's an interesting conversation and policy to be thought through because, yes, these, this is where these young people are. This is where they're talking with each other. It's then interesting to try and think through where the council, what role the council plays in this. Is it a case of listening to these conversations and just uh, providing information and help where it's necessary? Is it about trying to actually build the platform and steer the conversation? I actually think it's more the first one. I think we should let them sort of the kids get on with it because they're kind of the ones who, they've got the energy and the enthusiasm. The one thing they lack, though, is the actual expertise knowledge of, OK, so we want to do this. What lever needs to be pulled in the council that will help us do that? Um... So it's an important thing to happen that councillors are aware of these spaces but don't try to control them. The, the um, problem that I guess arises for councillors is the internal skills. So if you know, we're asking councillors to listen to these conversations and signpost to them, that isn't what traditionally a lot of people who work in councils are used to doing. So I think there needs to be... It's all a, sort of a cultural change that needs to happen and that's one of the things that I think organisations like NALC and, L and LGIU are trying to sort of ram home the fact that we need this more open, collaborative co-productive culture in local government now. So um, youth unemployment has reached a million now as of this year. Um, do you think there's a direct correlation between youth unemployment and community participation. Are you, in your experience, are you seeing any sort of more voluntary activity of young people getting involved, even in sort of social media? Um, no, I'm seeing more of my friends get involved in campaigns against the system. I'm not seeing any of them think, well, 